<laughs> okay. We'll take it. Welcome to Season 7 of Who Wants to Be the Ultimate Wow Nickbeard. If you have played this game before, then I suggest you head over to the video description below right now, where you will find the link to start the game, as the rest of the video explains how to play the game, which you should know unless this is your first time, in which case I recommend you stay and watch this video. Okay. Good luck! There are two ways you can play this game now. The standard mode, which is how you're used to playing this quiz. If you don't know how, this video contains a tutorial. And then there's studio mode. Seeing as several streamers decided to play the quiz live, this mode was created to help enhance the experience a little bit. You might wonder yep. how, by introducing the two original missing lifelines. Phone a friend so and ask the understands. audience. I guess the more appropriate term in this context would be ask the chat. There Phone a friend is. works like this. For one question, you can ask a friend to help you out. Whether it's a pal on Discord or someone you know from the chat, it's your choice. Originally, there is a 30 second time limit to this, but I personally think that would be too much to handle D, or deal with, so you can skip the time limit. Ask the chat is easy. For one question, simply create a straw poll with a set time limit, say 10 or 20 seconds, with the chat being able to vote either answer A, B, C, or D. Right. Chances are that your viewers might deliberately vote for the wrong answer to screw you over, but I thought the idea was interesting nonetheless because it allows the chat another way of interaction. I've also updated the achievement list for studio mode specifically. Pause the video to check it out if you want. After this, I'm going to play the rest of the video which includes the tutorial and the achievement list for standard mode. Cheers. Okay. All right. If you have already played this game before, Let's go. then it's look time. for a link in the video description below Let's to start. start the game immediately. At the the literal Fifteen God. questions await you. To win, you must answer all of them correctly. Alrighty. Let's play Who Wants to Be the Ultimate Wow Nickbeard, Season go. 7. Let's see question number one. What is the name of the item used to teleport to the location of a designated innkeeper? A. Hearthstone B. Hearthstone C. Smart Stone C. D. Take Me Home Stone <laughs> Take Me Home Tonight so Stone, that'd be even better. Okay, uh, I think we're probably gonna have to use a lifeline for this one, let's be honest, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a random guess at B. See how we're gonna do here. Remember kids, do not confuse heart with hearth. B yep. is correct. There it is. Easy, easy, easy. Alright, I'm level two now. What is the name of the resource used by Energy. rogues, feral druids, and non-healer monks to cast abilities? Easy, easy. easy. A. Easy. Energy. B. Mana. Yep. C. Focus. True. D. Rage. Okay, we're gonna go probably with A. I think A is gonna be the correct answer here. Let's go to the next one. Besides combo points, the yellow Very bar simple. sitting beneath their health pool is referred to as energy A. Well done. Right, right, right. Yep, 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 yep. Easy. Which of these are not valid levels of reputation attainable with a faction? A. Revered. No. B. Hated. No. C. Honored. It's gonna be D. D. Respected. What is respected? That'd be like neutral, right? Or friendly? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Respect. We're obviously gonna go with D. Respected. I've farmed every rep in the game. I fucking know this. Respectfully, the correct answer is D. Easy. Easy. Come on, guys. This is a joke. I'm gonna get all these right now. The name of which organ is used to refer to a powerful necklace connected Azeroth. to Azeroth's lifeblood bestowed upon players in the Battle for Azeroth expansion? A. Lungs. The dick of Azeroth. B. Liver. C. Stomach. The dick of Azeroth. D. Heart. Oh fuck. Okay, we're gonna have to go with D. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great, man. It'd be like a new weapon, like a pole arm or something. Be perfect. Okay, we're gonna go with D here. Easy. This thing is obnoxiously hungry for endless amounts of Azerite, so sure stomach is. would be fitting, but the correct answer here is D, heart. Easy, 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 
easy. Okay, next. The name of which popular World of Warcraft player is connected to macros designated for Swifty unleashing macro, devastating amounts of go. damage upon yep. enemies? Asmongold. A. Swifty. B. Bajira. C. Wreckful. D. Hudrick. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. No. Damn, you weren't even included. Oh my what god. What the fuck, man? You're a nobody. You're a nothing. Jesus, this is... Okay, fuck, man. Uh, I, I guess it's over for me. Yeah, the Asmongold one-shot macro. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? Okay, nobody associates me with doing a lot of damage, I guess. Fuck. One shot, one kill. Either you're terribly undergeared, or you've been hit by... Chris Kyle, A Swifty sniper. macro, A is correct. Okay, or it's right. Okay. Good job, you have finished the warm-up. Now, I recommend you take something for the rest of the journey. Here, catch. Remember, this 50-50 can only be used once unless you want to cheat the rules. The same okay. goes for the other two lifelines if you are playing studio mode. Behold what lies behind question six. Which of these names are used when referring to a particular Centaur. creature with the upper body of a night elf and the lower body Dryad. of a young deer? A. Sylph. No. B. Meadow Sprite. C. Nayad. D. Dryad. Oh boy, I got that one right! That's easy, dude. That shit's been in the game ever since Warcraft 3. There's no way I wouldn't have known this one. Alright, let's go with D. You said centaur? Yeah, because their dryads are fucking centaurs, dude. Give it a break. Acting as faithful protectors of woodland realms, they are... The Dryad D. Easy. Come on. Alright, I'm getting a bit nervous now. What is the name of Kel'Thuzad's pet house cat? A. Sergeant Tips. B. Mr. Bigglesworth. C. Mrs. Norris. D. Stinky. Stinky. <laughs> They, they should call him Stinky. Yeah, that's actually true. Yeah, we'll call him Stinky. Okay, uh, yeah, obviously B. This is a very, another very, very easy question. Dr. Evil's cat? Yeah. Is that an Easter egg? I don't know about an Easter egg. I think a lot of people know this one. I hope these questions get harder. You're Wondering the eerie this. entrance hall of Nextramus, faithfully keeping the room clear of maggots and roaches is none other than... Mr. Bigglesworth B. Yep. Easy. So easy. I'm stinky? Fuck you. Which of these factions can you not be at war with? A. Therizane. B. Sons of Hodir. C. Thorium Brotherhood. D. Hydraxian Waterlords. It's between C and D. C. It's C. Because I drag C in water, I'm pretty sure it's C. Like 95% sure it's C. I'm gonna go with C. Fuck. Because you have the Hydrax in water words. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try C. Son of Hodir, maybe. The Water Lords. Mm. Therizane. Yep, it's the Thorium Brotherhood. Okay. 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 What is the name of the mineral Hi, used right. to fuel player-controlled siege weapons during the Flame Leviathan boss encounter in Ulduar? A. Fluorite. 
B. Boronite. C. Cobalt. D. Pyrite. Fluoride? We're not trying to turn them gay. Let's go with D. Easy. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with being Remember gay. Remember those there's times when you were running Ulduar, okay, yeah, driving the catapult, not being able to do enough damage because your passenger was either AFK or completely clueless? Yeah, that's every right. Every time, that's every right. Every time I kept yelling at them. Yep. Yep. Let me give you an example of how it went. But since kids are likely watching, <clears throat> yeah, he knows I'll be doing it on my. Stop, side. suck, and grab the fluorite, cobalt, pyrite. Actually, that's about right. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. In which zone cannot be found the debris of at least one crashed goblin zeppelin? A. Dust Swallow no. Marsh. B. Winter no. Spring. C. Hellfire no. Peninsula. It's gotta be D. D. The Storm Peaks. There's one in D2. Okay. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yes! Come on! He has no clue. He's got no fucking clue. You don't know, man. I know it's not winter spring. See, I don't know what he counts as debris. So it's definitely not fucking C. So I think I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with D I'm gonna go with A. Yeah, don't worry about your lifelines. I'm gonna go with A. Should I use the lifeline? I'll, I'll use it. I'll use the lifeline. What? Okay. Winter spring. Goblins are predictable creatures, yep. since you can always expect them to crash something. Zeppelins, most of all. Hellfire Peninsula is... is the answer. Which you fortunately didn't pick because Winter Spring B is correct. That was, an Damn e it. that was an easy 50-50 because Hellfire Peninsula literally had a quest for picking up debris from the Goblin Zeppelin. Like, that was the easiest one. And here we are. Well, so so the reason I said it's not Winter Spring is that I didn't read the word Zeppelin. Right? I thought it was just Goblin Machine. Whereas in Winter Spring, there's obviously a uh, erect Goblin Machine, but there's not a Zeppelin. You were gonna go with A. Shut the fuck up. You would have got it wrong. I would have. I would have gone with A. You're right. The Grim Quintuple awaits. Okay. 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 The Arctic mountainscape of Storm Peaks consists of five large Titan temples. No Which of these have the second highest altitude? A. Temple of Storms. Hell yeah! B. Temple of Invention. C. Temple of Winter. D. Temple of Order. He's <laughs> got no idea. I don't think anybody knows. Well, you just like, better pick a random one then, dude. I, I don't know. I, I can't even read chat. Like, I don't know. Like, nobody knows this. Nobody has any idea. It's not that I think it's maybe the Temple of Storms. I'm going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to go with A. Yeah, I mean, I think it's 
actually the tallest one, unless this is like... I think that it might be like a trick question where like Ulduar is one of the temples and Ulduar is higher up than the Temple of Storms. That's like, that's the only... That's the only way that I could make sense out of it. I, I'm already picking A. Uh... You're reading chat. You already picked A. Yeah, I, I know, I know. I already picked A. I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I genuinely don't know. I know Temple is, like, because the other three, right? So I'm randomly picking three. So the only thing that I'm, I, I can bet on is that this is some sort of, like, a trick question. And there's, like, another temple that's, like, not being counted. That's the only thing that I can bet on. I'm going to go with A. It's probably wrong, but I'm going to go with A. Each temple is supposedly dedicated to a certain Titan Watcher from Ulduar, but around the time of Wrath, this particular Watcher was absent throughout the game. I think by now you might know that the correct answer is D. Okay, so yes! yeah, I, I, yeah I, I didn't know that one. There's no way I would have known that. Okay, we'll, we'll go to D. Each temple is supposedly dedicated to a certain Titan Watcher from Ulduar, okay. but around the time of Wrath, this particular Watcher was absent throughout the game. I think by now you might know that the correct answer is D. Okay. Okay, here we go. Got only got one wrong. How much does the Great Expedition Yak cost in gold? A. 130,000 B. 100,000 C. 120,000 D. 125,000 I don't know if it's 100 or 120 or 125. I think it's 120. Uh, I'm going to go with 120. That is a lot of gold. But, perhaps not for someone who is given free gold on a regular basis, eh? Some of these people, as far as I know, hey, don't pay you. that much attention to how much gold they spend. And for this question, that is the wrong kind of attitude to have. What truly matters now, though, is if your answer is correct. And you know what? It just so happens that you are... Correct. Whenever it comes to numbers, I never forget. Like, I've got a very, very good numerical memory. Like, I, I knew it immediately. Yeah. Easy. Easy. Okay, here we go. Next one. Let's go. Let's go. What was the name of Oxhorn's torn friend who helped him on their quest to bypass World of Warcraft's profanity filter by promoting the use of euphemisms? A. Staghoof B. What Staghard, the hell? C. Staghorn D. Green Stag I think it's Staghoof, but we're gonna go ahead and pull the chat. Fuck! We're gonna pull the chat. Just a second. Chat, you know what to do. Help him out here, guys. Do your jobs. There you go. There you go. Players will have the Oops, wrong one. Okay. Um C is overwhelmingly the answer. Uh, we're gonna go with C. We will go with nice C. Nice job, you cunts. Let's let's see. Let's see if it's gonna be right. We'll go with C. As fate would have it, the correct answer 
is A. Sometimes it's B, sometimes it's C, sometimes it's D. But in this case, the answer. Green was the color of his armor. Heart. He had one. Everyone has a heart. Okay. Hoof. Okay. He had two of those. Okay. Horn. Two of them, actually. But only okay. one in his name. C is correct. Okay, alright, there we go. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Okay. Next. I'm ready. Last two. In the Chamber of Heart, the Maiden of Vitality states that Azeroth suffers from a certain cardiac condition caused by Sargeras's sword. This condition is... Diabetes! A. Hypertension B. Arrhythmia C. Cardiomyopathy D. Paroxysm It's arrhythmia, I think. I mean, I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna say it's B. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm Are gonna you go sure? with B. Yeah, that's why I, I don't I won't get a chat now. I'm gonna go with B. I, I'm, I'm going with B. Okay, let's see. Okay. Oh, please don't get a heart attack for this question. Okay, I'm looking at the correct answer now. It's blinking green. That means it's correct. Now I'm looking at your answer. And guess what? Oh. It's the same answer I was looking at before, which means you have reminded me that I need to take my glasses because I can't see shit. All right, all right, let's see. Uh, oh boy. Well, it appears you failed to lose because B is correct. Oh my God, come on, man. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. At long dude. last. What a roller coaster. I knew it was that because you'd hear the heartbeat in there. It was obvious. Okay, here we go. Last question. In Blades Edge Mountains, under the protection of the Scenarian Expedition, is a supposedly four years old child named Natasha, who, in her interaction dialogue, directly references something from the real world. What is it? A. England B. Bambi C. The Statue of Liberty D. Jazz Music What in the hell? Bruh You don't know this Although you do have one more uh, lifeline, dude. Yeah, I can ask you. Yeah, you can ask me if you want to. That's okay. What? So... Bambi already have- the Statue of Liberty already is a reference in the game in the wetlands. Bambi is already referenced in the game in Grizzly Hills outside of the Westfall Brigade area. I don't know. I don't think it would be jazz music. No, fuck. No, it's, 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 just ask me, dude. Ask me, ask me. I'll give you the right answer. I think it's A. No, no, no. Ask me, though. Ask me, though. Don't. Okay, what don't is it? No. It's uh, D. It's D. For sure, 100%. I think it's A. I'm going to go with A, because jazz music doesn't have any connotation or correlation to anything in WoW. And England is much more broad, and so it's easier to make a correlation to that. Fuck! The Statue of Liberty and Bambi are already in the game as in-game references, so they wouldn't be repeated twice. And I think that's the only one that makes sense. So I'm gonna go with that. Okay. Here we go. Oh dear, oh dear, I, 
I can't. I, I, I can't. I, I can't look. Okay. Okay. I will look. Okay. Please. Please tell me you chose the correct answer. Please tell me you chose the correct answer. Please, 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 please. <gasps> you actually did it! Unbelievable! <laughs> Sorry, that was the guy before you. Can you believe it? He got the right answer. Do you know who else got the right answer? Huh? That's right. You did not only choose the right answer, but you've also won! Woo! Wow. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, absolutely wow. beautiful. Amazing. Damn. I wish Incredible. I was right there where you are to celebrate your You cheated. With you. But I can't. You mad? However, you cheated. You can be you with mad? me. So what the hell are you waiting for? A Open up Twitch, write down my name in the search box, just the way it's you written cheated. on the screen. You cheated. You cheated. hell out He's of that cheater. Button, And then proceed get to forget mad, the next dude. day that you've actually mad, followed dude. me. We can both forget that we've actually ever met. Join our Discord channel wow. to stay up to date on our future content. What, when, why, where, how, etc, etc, etc. And also, fuck you, Chad, for giving me the right channel. answer. And don't forget, these it's just that easy. For your entertainment your problem, chat. as well as mine. Thanks also, her name was the, you know, it was a female name, and there's a lot of references of people saying, what am, what do you expect me to be, the Queen of England or something? It was like, it's also that connection, too. Don't like, go, it, it Mike. Was, it was Don't give him gifted was... subs. Thank you, I Crow, for the five. I really appreciate yourself, that, man. He doesn't deserve that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, your favorite dude. streamer, play the game live. Uh, Thanks that to all the shit. people I've listed Bless in the under. credits for their support. And with that, my friends, I wish you a happy rest of the day. Wow. Until another time. Wow, dude, can you believe that I got everything?